If you can hold off, it's going to be so tempting. You're going to start getting 10 emails a day from institutional investors. If you're still a bootstrapper at 10 million, there are so many different types of people that want to give you money. I would say don't take it. I think there is a beautiful point that I'm very close to reaching. Maybe some would argue I've reached it where you are making a lot of money every year. If you're lucky enough to take chips off the table in this round that you do, I think that's the motivating factor for most people to do it. From what I understand, they don't provide that much value. I think at best they can be not a part of your world and at worst they can ruin your life. It's like this pitch of, oh, we're gonna give you go-to-market advice or whatever. You don't need it. <laughs> no, nobody, they're not really gonna help you hire that much. So I would say, man, if you can just kick that bootstrapping thing down the road a few more years, you could get to this dream world where there's a lot of revenue, the business is substantially de-risked, like you're paying yourself a lot every year. And if you hit 10, you're on your way. At the end of the day, the, the potential business growth of a SaaS is related to churn rate. I don't know what the numbers are, but you gotta have pretty high churn to stop out at 10. If you don't, definitely don't raise money.